What's up everybody? It's your favorite Serbian Timo and today we're talking about the pattern interrupt. So what is the pattern interrupt? For me, it is when I physically extract, remove myself for a bad, bad situation. And I don't mean I got in trouble or something like that. I mean, when I get tired, my willpower is almost zero or zero, I start doing some bad stuff. And by bad stuff, I mean I start watching movies and TV shows and maybe, maybe even play games. And I consider that waste of time. Like, okay, there's sometimes you should do it and relax your brain and whatever, take your mind off a stressful situation, maybe reward yourself for doing great but other than that, it is a waste of time. And I was trying really, really hard to figure out a way to not make it a waste of time, to justify playing games. And maybe saying, hey, well, there is this one friend of mine from America and he's super busy and I'm super busy and maybe we can like play games together and hang out and stay connected like that. That's like the only explanation and the reason I have to justify playing games. But I do occasionally play some games, but that's like when I'm really, really, really low on willpower. Usually I just like watch a movie or YouTube video. So this is how it usually goes, and then I'm gonna tell you how I fix it, or at least trying to fix it. So I will wake up, now I do my stuff and you know, willpower is like a battery and it goes down, 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 and down. And the less you have it, the easier it will be for other things to distract you and to like kidnap you for what you want slash need to do for today. So after like lunch period, uh, I would like still work on what I have to do and I'll be like, well, you know, I've been working hard, I kind of need to take a break. You see, I'm already justifying a break. Like, I'm starting to make excuses why I should stop working, but it's disguised, you know, my brain is disguising it. So I'm like, okay, well, yeah, I did work, I did accomplish this, I did work out today. I deserve to, you know, uh, watch some videos on YouTube. And then I'm watching this, it's been 30 minutes, maybe an hour, and I'm hungry. So I'm like, okay, well, I'll make myself a breakfast and I'll watch this like one show I'm following. Actually, I'm following six, but don't tell anybody. This one show I'm following so I can like eat and watch a show and I'll waste time, you know? Again, this is me justifying watching a TV series spending 45 minutes on that. But I don't need 45 minutes, I feel like 15 or 20. And then I'm done, well, I'm like, well, I can't just, you know, exit the TV series. It wouldn't be fair towards producers and actors for me to ignore half of the episode. So as, uh, you know, respect for everybody involved with that, I'll just watch the entire episode. Again, me justifying wasting time. So when I'm done with that, now I spent two hours on time wasting activities and it's late, it's around eight or 9 p.m. So I'm like, well, it's kind of late. I do have to wake up in the morning. How about I stop with the work for today, hang out for a little bit more, and then go to sleep. And then I would like watch another YouTube video or something like that. And it would like go like that. And if I do start watching videos around 7 p.m., no big deal. I already worked a lot and worked out. So but sometimes if I don't sleep because, you know, maybe I had a nightmare or woke up too early or didn't go to bed, on time or when I feel tired, that same thing just happens sooner. And the sooner it happens, 
the more and more uh, problematic it would get. So not only that I would watch a TV series, I would actually start watching a new one. That's how we ended up at six. So now I'm following those six ser TV series and I can't stop, I can't say no to them, even though I should. And then even worse thing could happen, I could actually download a game. And that happened twice in the last two months. So now I have two games on my computer. I don't have Microsoft Office on my computer installed, but I have two games. That's how ridiculous it is. But like, I realize it's a bad thing. It's a bad habit. And then I would be mad at myself for wasting several hours. And then I would be disappointed. And then because I'm disappointed at myself, again, my willpower will decrease. And then I'll be like, well, I just don't want to do anything today. If I'm not going to be working, I might as well not do anything. So I would just lay in my bed and I would like us watch kidding videos on my phone or something like that then i would waste another day and realize there should be something i i need to do and i know i just can't on those days i just can't go and work out on those days i skip working out so I'm like it has to be something easy enough for me to just stand up and go do it it has to be something fun or at least beneficial for me so I can just stand up and go do it. So I can't say, well, I'm not gonna uh, be on my computer, I'm just gonna read or I'm just gonna work out, you know? It has to be something fun and easy and something I can do immediately. So that's why it's not walking because what if it's raining or cold outside? Then I just can't stand up and leave. So I realized it's either go and lay in my bed, not sleep, just like lay in my bed and think, or uh, like go and take a bath. Like I love doing those. Like not shower, like I would take a shower after workout and then later take a bath so I can like extract myself, you know? And then now I'm in a bath. And since I already wasted, wasted like 50 liters or how many there is in the tub, then I can just leave five minutes later. I have to commit my time in staying there, enjoying myself. So I would spend between half an hour and an hour in a hot water, enjoying myself, relaxing. And I would use that time to think about something. And I would probably have this amazing idea and I would start geeking about it. And then I would start working on it. And that's my pattern interrupt. It's either take a hot bath or go lay in my bed and just think, you know? It's not meditate because again, meditating is boring. Laying in your bed, it's not boring and it's easy and it's something I can do whenever I want. And the same thing happened today. So I woke it up um, around the time I planned and by 11 or 12, so by noon, I was already like tired and I was like, how can I be tired? I drank my, you know, double strong coffee and I was like, well, this is what's going to happen. Either I'm gonna force myself to work a little bit more and then after 3 p.m. I'll be dead. And then I won't work out, I won't work out, well. I won't study, I won't do anything. Or I can like go in my bed, think a little bit, maybe take a cat nap. And then once I'm done with that, then, you know, continue. And I just laid in my bed and I was there for like 30 minutes and I felt like I slept eight hours and I'm just laying in my bed. Like it was dark. So I just turned off the light. You see like that's lighting this room and I put down the um, curtains 
and it was dark. It was like night dark. And I was just laying in the dark. I was just thinking about something meaningless. I was looking at the books I have, like not the first, I know you don't see, but not the first one, which is my side of the library, but the second one, which is my mom's side of the library. So I was looking at the books she has, and I was like, hmm, there are some books I should read from her side of the library. So I'm just like thinking about it. And after 30 minutes or so, I was like, okay, I'm ready. And I didn't sleep. I didn't drink coffee. I didn't drink any energy drink. Now it's 22. So that's 10 p.m. Um, and yeah, I'm like feeling better right now than I was at noon. And I even worked out for like an hour and a half and I feel amazing. So like that's my pattern interrupt is like when you realize pattern, you know, it repeats. It's something predictable. It's something you can um, like you can see, you can realize, hey, if I do this, this and this, that would happen. And if you look at your day, daily routine, or just day by day, if you don't have a routine, you realize, hey, these are like the things I do in the order. It's like I'm programmed to do it like that. Like, notice the way you brush your teeth today, tonight, when you brush your teeth. You will realize that there is this like one sequence of like movements you repeat exactly every single time you brush your teeth. I know for myself, it goes that way, that way, the front teeth, that way, when I open them, that way, this one, that one, that one, this one, and then inside and that outside and the tongue. Every single time. And to be honest, even if I count the times I pull back and forth, I bet I would do exactly the same amount of time today and tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day without consciously thinking about it. That's the same thing with your day. Like when you go to work or to college or to school, do you take the same route you did yesterday? And will you take the same route tomorrow? I bet you would. That's the pattern. So that's what I'm talking about. And you have the same thing in your day, day to day. And when something's bad happening, when you're feeling sad, when you're hurting, when you're tired, when you're anxious, you have this like pattern, a thing you're doing that's progressively going worse and worse and worse. And your job is to be aware that you're doing that which will help you a lot. If you do nothing else than just being aware of it, you'll do amazing in your life. But first you have to be aware of it and then realize what are the steps and what's the trigger for the first thing and what has to happen to that thing to you know evolve, to progress further and what's the next thing and the next thing. And then ask yourself, well, what can I do or somebody else? You can call your best friend, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your dad, your mom, your brother, whatever, to just like pull you. So if I'm not doing this too thing, uh, I ask my brother, hey, when will you go to gym? And when you go, make sure I go with you. Because I know since maybe I'm tired or feeling bad or hurting or whatever, I don't want to work out, you know? But when he goes, he's like, go, let's go, come on, up, go, go. So I would go with him. And once I get to the gym, I just put on my earbuds, I'm in a game. Like, I don't even talk to anybody else. I'm just like crushing it. When I'm done, I'm leaving, I'm out. I feel amazing. But getting to the gym, it's really hard to leaving that comfortable chair in that like computer it's just hard you may say well Timo you sound like you are addicted to computer and yeah I am like I am and there's nothing wrong with it because I just made another excuse see how that works easy so 
uh, realize you have this bad sequence of event, realize what's the trigger, either you or somebody else has to interrupt that pattern. That's why this video is called Pattern Interrupt. I should get better at creating titles for my videos. That's what I was thinking about today. Also while I was laying in my bed. You know, last one was Hope Marketing. Instead of I could be probably titling, what's the worst marketing you can do or something like that. You know, make it more clickbaity or whatever, you know. I feel bad for person that has to uh, <laughs> um, translate these videos because I'm just inventing words as I'm coming, as I'm like thinking. That poor person has to figure out what I wanted to say and translate my videos. But anyways, he's doing an amazing job. So uh, yeah, but basically trying not to get distracted this last time interrupt that bad part pattern pattern and you'll do amazing in your life okay so i hope you enjoyed this video i know this one's not that businessy as i promised i would make my videos more business oriented but it is important for you to um, master this in order to ensure that your business college workout life whatever it is that you want uh, is on track to success so if you do want to be notified anytime i post new videos so you don't miss some valuable valuable tips like this uh press that subscribe button and the bell right next to it so you will get a notification for youtube that i post a new video and then you can you know watch my video and not do your homework because that's how we roll over here. So um, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.